very high okay so in today's video i'm going to show you how to apply to the university of genova so if you guys remember clearly i spoke about this university in like the universities with no application um fee um, video okay so you guys can check out more about this university from that video i'm going to link it up okay but then this university the university of genova is a public university okay in italy it's it's been around for more than 540 years okay and it has a very high acceptance rate for international students around um 60 percent for international students and to apply to this university you need a cgp of above like two okay so two point and above this university really has a good community for international students and there are so many opportunities in this university like scholarships and all of that for international students the university's um, application for 2024 2025 academic year is currently open and i want to show you guys how to apply guys i have so many videos on my channel on university applications i highly recommend that you do apply to other universities as well there are so so many university applications on my channel Cafoscari, sapienza padova pisa siena bergamo please 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 do check them out um okay so first of all what you're going to do is let me show you guys the direct site to apply i'm going to leave it in in the video description don't worry so um you can see here this site is only for um, non-eu students like for programs entirely taught in english so i come you go here you go to register then you either choose to proceed in english or to proceed in italian um, but i'm going to choose english then i'm going to sign up So you're done you're going to send you an email to confirm so i'm going to go to my email to confirm so there's the link to confirm so it brings me here so this is my pass for the university getting all your credentials then you're going to come here after creating your credentials submit your application on the unigate apply portal log in on this link so this is the page you find while applying after you create you click on this to register come back leave this page open come back to it and then use this link to apply so yeah you put in your username and your password then you log in okay so you can see on this uh, platform everything is written information on documents requested so valid identification document cv bachelor's degree transcripts of record not mandatory but recommended certificate of english proficiency so they've written that um consult the certificate accepted on the website so you can um click here to kind of like find out more but then you go down and then submit a new application for 2024, 2025. So I'm just going to click on this. Then it brings you here. So you can see in like the English category, the programs available when you click on, we have architecture and design, economics, engineering, medicine and surgery, mathematical, physical and natural sciences, then political science. So when you click on this, you can see the program available. Master's degree course in architectural composition is two years. You can find more information about it on the course website. When you move down to economics, you can see master's degree in management for energy and environmental transition is for two years. More on the program. You can see it on the program page. A master's degree in economics and data science. Um, and you can see that on the we can get more information on the program on the course page then if you come down 
engineering there are a lot of course like there are loads and loads of courses in the engineering field master's degree in building engineering master's degree course in bioengineering and we come down master's degree course in computer engineering you can see like so many so many options for engineering so you can go through medicine and surgery master's degree course in medical um, pharma pharmaceutical biotechnology then you move down master's degree in master's degree course in computer science then uh, under political science they have master's degree course in international relations so these are all like the programs that are available the application period is from now till 29th of march 2024 um selection will be based exclusively on the documents provided the city is Geno genova like where the program will be offered i think i'm going to go with this program okay i'm going to go with this program for this application so after you are done then you closer then you come here to the profile so here you fill in like every like at the profile section you fill every details You're going to move on to the next so the next section you're going to fill your address so your place of residence your country of residence your province your postal code your house number and extension your city then you move down to your contact so the type of contact you want so telephone mobile phone whichever then the contact you put the number there um and then you're going to contact you there then from our address section you move to education so here you're going to put in all your educational documents. So the type of diploma you have, the country, um, where it was issued, the university name, um, the diploma. Um, so here is the type of diploma. So Italian high school, foreign high school, Italian, you know, all of that. You place that here. Then the um, diploma that you have, you're going to write the name here. Then the duration, how long it took, the final school year, um, then the final mark, then the maximum achievable mark. If it was honest, it's dishonest. Okay. So here they've written that even like the final year, um, you have to indicate as final year school 2024, but you will not be able to confirm enrollment at the university until you have graduated. So here you add your diploma. Then here you add your degree and university studies. So you add like all the details. So the situation of degree, here you come to the degree section. So here you can see with this application, you need to add your high school. Um, it's mandatory for you to, to add your high school. Then you um, include your degree as well because the program I'm going for, it's a master's program. Yes. So here the situation of your degree um, are you about to graduate? Are you currently enrolled? Do you have the degree? Then the type of degree, foreign, you state that the country it was issued, the university, the course of study, the date of achievement, the final mark, and then the maximum achievable mark. So if you have several degrees or you've studied um, several programs, so someone will have, um, some will have high school, they will have HND before their degree as well so you can kind of like add as many as you want then when you're done with the education section you're going to move to photo or id document so here you're going to upload your um please the education section don't forget to upload the your educational document as well then you come to the id document section so you enter the details of your id document then the photo id so you upload the photo id as well here in the id document section your id document type so italian id passport italian driving license other type of italian document um yeah then the issuing date when you click on a document you write the issuing date the expiration date then the number um is written here upload two images in jpeg format with front and back of your id document so after you are done filling these details then you come you upload it then the back section you also upload it 
So you fill all the documents that you want to attach to it. Then you come to the photo ID section. You upload that photo. And then when you're done with this photo section, you go to documents. Remember all the documents that were mentioned at the beginning um, of the application page. So here your CV, you, you upload your CV, then your transcript of records, you upload that one as well. Then bachelor's degree, final or provisional or letter from the university if the degree has not yet been obtained. So then you upload it here. Then your further title, you upload it here. Any other, you know, document or any other degrees you've had, any other titles you've had, you can upload that one here. Then your English language certification, you can also upload that one here. Then your syllabus. Please take note of that. The syllabus is different from the transcript of records. So um, that's what you need to take note of. Then you, from here, you move to further information. Anything you want to add here, you can, here it's written here, your Skype link, your link video presentation, the cumulative grade point average CGP declared is related to bachelor's degree used as the entry qualification for the master's degree. The value must be in agreement with that given on the documents attached to the application. If the title has not been obtained, report the CGPA that takes into account all semesters to the most recent one. Reporting inaccurate information or information that does not coincide with the documents provided may compromise the selection. So guys, please take note of that. Fill in the right information. So you just write your CGPA here. Um, then the base of the CGP you also include it here. So you can see, so you can see the base here, different universities and what they use. You kind of like go for what applies to your university as the base. Some has this, others use this as well. So um, just go with what applies to your university. Then you move to the last section, declarations. So I've read and understood rules and regulations of the University of Genoa on treatment of personal data. Then you click on I agree to the processing of the data provided on the basis of the aforementioned privacy policy. When you're done with all of this, you click on submit. Then you send in the application. Then you have to wait for the university to get back to you on your acceptance. And then you're going to go on ahead and go to University Italy and pre-enroll to this university has several scholarships for international students and outside of that also the university scholarship that the university aside the university scholarship that the university of Genoa offers to international students they also have the regional scholarship so note every um region or every university in any region in Italy has university has regional scholarships for international students so this Regional scholarships are available for everyone. And students get as high as 7,000 euros, um, which covers feeding, which covers, you know, tuition fees, and then it covers, like, you know, um, stipends as well, so your pocket money, and then that of accommodation. So the, um, the regional scholarship is a need-based scholarship. And for that, you will need to present then the family income, composition, and property and movable assets document. I'm going to talk more about that later on when the scholarships open. But then that regional scholarship is going to open in July of 2024. So do take note of that. But then as applying now for the university, you also stand a chance of being picked for university scholarships at the university itself, the University of Genoa, before the other scholarships will open. My C is going to open and then the regional scholarship as well is going to open. So there are loads and loads of opportunities for, um, you know, students in this university and all universities in Italy. I'm wishing you the very best with the application. If you found this video helpful, Please don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and share with someone else. Guys, don't forget to tag me on Instagram 
when I post the videos, the helpful videos, please put it on your stories, tag me, let's get more people to know about the opportunities that are here in Italy so that we'll get to come and study for almost free. So that is it for this video. I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget, when you tag me on Instagram, I'm going to give you a shout out in my next video. Okay, so see you in my next video. Bye.